Hi, Mr Corsi here. In this question, we're asked to determine the nature of the roots of this function. So the root of a function like this is a value of x that makes the function take a value of 0. We're basically asked to find values of x that make this expression 0. So we're solving a quadratic equation. The solutions of this equation are called the roots of that function. Now, to solve quadratic equations, we know that there's a formula that tells us uh, the solutions of any quadratic equation. Let's have a look at this. x equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's one of the solutions. The other solution is negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I mean, you'll know you'll know that by negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. What all that means is that there are two possibilities when you add the square root of b squared minus 4ac and you subtract. Uh, b squared minus 4ac. So it all depends uh, on adding or subtracting this number, the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now various things can happen. If you try and plot the values of 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 and you have a look at the, the values that that expression takes, there's various uh, possibilities that can happen when we're looking at uh, values of x that'll give you zero for the values of the function. That's where this parabola meets the x-axis. That's if you were supposing that y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, you're plotting the heights, the y-coordinates, as the values of ax squared plus bx plus c. So there's three situations that arise where there are no solutions, there's no roots, there's only one solution, or there are two solutions. And it, as I said, it all depends on this square root of b squared minus 4ac. If you're taking the square root of a positive number, you will definitely get an answer. If you take the square root of 2, for instance, that's a number, plus the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2, you'll get two different answers. So if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you'll produce two solutions from this quadratic formula. However, if b squared minus 4ac is 0, you'll get plus the square root of 0 and minus the square root of 0. Now, if you're adding 0, subtracting 0, it has no effect. You'll get one answer from these two possibilities. That's the one solution case where b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Another possibility arises where b squared minus 4ac is a negative number, and if you take the square root of a negative number, you will not produce a real number. So there's no real values of x where uh, this expression will be 0. So that's the case where the graph of all the values of 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 uh, is above the x-axis. You'll not find it crossing the x-axis. There's no point in this graph that has a height of 0. So there are no solutions. So that's the case when under the square root sign you find a negative number. Square root of a negative number, no real solutions. So let's put that in no real solutions. So we basically have to look at the b squared minus 4ac, which is called the discriminant, and find out whether it's negative, if it's zero, or if it's positive. So the discriminant holds the key to analysing whether there's two or one or no roots to this function. So we'll compare 2x squared 
plus 4x plus 5 with ax squared plus bx plus c. And here you can see that there's two lots of x squared. a is equal to 2. There's four x's, so b is equal to 4. The constant term is 5, c equals 5. The discriminant, that's the expression you find under the square root sign when you use the quadratic formula. b squared minus 4ac, in this case, will be 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5. 4 times a times c. 4 squared is 16. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 8 is 8 times 5 is 40. So you'll get a negative answer, negative 24. So the discriminant we've discovered is less than 0. And that's this situation where there's no real solutions. When is this expression equal to 0? Not for any value of x. There is no real value of x that will make this expression equal to 0. This graph, this quadratic graph, does not cross the x-axis. So discriminant is less than 0. So uh, there are no real solutions. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.